Do you want your 688 bearings to spin like this? Watch this video. Okay, in this video, we're gonna go through how to take one of these 688 bearings that you get from Amazon that have grease seals on them. We're gonna go through how do you take the grease seals off, how you expose the grease that's inside the bearing, how we're going to um, wash the bearing grease out, and then we'll show you how much better it's, it'll spin at the end. So here's one that's been treated has been completely cleaned out of grease and we put a nice thin oil in there, it just glides so nice and smooth. Here's one that still has a grease in it and you can see with the grease in there, it just provides enough uh, resistance that it makes it a little bit harder for the uh, bearing spools for the filament to roll very smoothly and easily. So I'm gonna go through how to do that. Okay, we got our 688 bearing here with rubber seals on it. We're gonna, first of all, we're gonna pull off the rubber seals. Just need a sharp instrument like a, an X-Acto knife and just get kind of barely get under the, bot, the inside of the seal and then pop it out. And make sure you don't bend the seal or cut it as you're pulling it off. So you just take that, you can see all the grease in there. Take it, flip it, pop the seal again. Make sure you keep those safe. We're gonna put those back on later. Okay, now you can see the grease that's in these that's in these bearings. Let's see if you can see that pretty good there. You can see the grease that's in there, and that's why it just it just doesn't doesn't slide very easily. So what we're going to do first of all, we're going to go and dissolve the grease and clean that grease out of there. Let me zoom out a little bit. Okay, so I'm using this stuff called uh, Buggy Blast. It's uh, made by Trinity. Um, I just happen to have it around, but any kind of spray solvent um, that you can get from AutoZone or whatever auto parts store should work. It's good to use this because it has a little nozzle and you can spray it right into the bearing and dissolve the grease. So I'm just gonna spray it inside the bearing. Make sure you got some eye protection on. I got a glove on here because I don't wanna get the stuff on my hands. Just basically take it and dissolve that grease out of there. You can see it's mostly dissolved out of there. Let's go a couple more shots of this. The thing about using this is it kind of pushes the grease out as it's dissolving it. Yeah, it starts to make that sound. Let's know you're getting close. So a lot of times what I do is I go and hit it with some air. This is just a regular air duster left for electronics. Put that straight on there. See how it's spinning? That means I've pretty much got all that grease out of there. But I'm gonna take one more shot at it, just make sure I got all the grease out. Okay, all the grease out of there. Now we're gonna use the duster again just to make sure we get all the solvent out of there. Okay, good, see how well that spins? Spins and spins. Okay, so now we've got all the all the grease out of there. We got all the solvent all nice and dried. The solvent evaporates very quickly. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take and put a little oil in here. I've got some of this uh, light oil. This is from a RC car manufacturer, but any kind of light sewing machine oil should work fine. So you just need four or five drops. One, two, three, four, five drops. And that feels really good. I'm just gonna take the air back and spin it again. And it pushes up some of that excess oil and make sure that things sliding nice and smoothly. Oh, that feels good. Okay, now, so we got the, got the bearing all nice and oiled. Now we're just gonna put our seals back on. Now there might be a little bit of grease left on the back of these seals. You're just gonna make sure that you just rub that off on your cloth here. Make sure there's no excess grease and then we're just going to take that and just take it and just push this right back into place as long as you didn't bend it while you're pulling it out it should go back in and maybe just use the edge of your fingernail to make sure it seats under that lip just flip it over clean off the other side of the seal take that pop that back into place make sure it's all in and there you go nice and smooth do that four more times, and your filament roller will be gliding as smooth as silk. 
I hope you take the time and take your bearings, clean them out, and add some oil to make your filament spool holder uh, just glide as smooth as it can go. Um, if you liked the video, please give it a like. If you didn't, let me know. And if you want to see more, please subscribe.